Ring like the pellets on the wing, but the K was the key. They made electric chairs for us dying day. Last meals, no one feels them to try and stay. On death row like sugar in the late pot. Maybe he could dig a tunnel while the A block. And wear gloves for the razor wire gate top. Scared thugs going crazy in the cage box. What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. The Minnesota Timberwolves just ended a 13 year drought after missing out on the playoffs every year since 2004. After going 47-35, clinching the 8th seed and showing signs of becoming a title contender in the future, rumors have spread about the tension between Carl Anthony Towns and the Timberwolves franchise, and there has been claims made that he is unhappy and frustrated with the organization. Now this can be false, this wasn't the first time a star player has said this about their team and stuck with them the very next year, but the GM of the Wolves fired three members of the coaching staff in May, including a development coach who has worked closely with Towns throughout his NBA career. This could be a root or a cause to the discomfort of Towns in Minnesota. If the Timberwolves and Carl Anthony Towns do decide to burn bridges instead of working it out, there are a number of teams ready to give up some valuable assets and high draft picks to acquire Towns. Here's a list of the top three best landing spots for Carl Anthony Towns. At number three, Towns takes his talent to the Lakers where they are in desperate need of a superstar and a big man. If this trade were to go through, the Lakers will most likely give up two of their best four which are Lonzo, Kuzma, Ingram, and Randall. Two of them will have to go including their 2019 draft pick as well. If this were to happen, the Lakers will still have plenty of cast space to invite another superstar to come join while at the same time keeping most of their young core as well. Not saying this will happen but if so, this would be one of the best options for the Lakers and Timberwolves. The Wolves will acquire two young up and coming stars to mix up with Butler and Wiggins as well as the chance to draft another star in 2019. At number 2, Carl Anthony Towns will reunite with his college teammate Devin Booker all the way down in Phoenix. Now the city of Phoenix isn't the most desirable place to play basketball, but Devin Booker as well as other young guys have been giving the city hope that one day they can be a great team and all they really need to do is land a lucky versatile big man like Towns. Their chemistry has been off which could be a reason they haven't had success in the past few years but the combination of a killing young scorer like Devin Booker who can create his own shots and a top 3 center who can play at any spot he needs to on offense will be something to see. In order for this trade to go through, the Suns will have to give up their first overall pick this year. It's a must as well as giving up Dragon Bender to the Wolves. The Timberwolves will get a young Bender who has shown glimpses he can be a positive role player and can fit the system of the Timberwolves as well as the opportunity to draft a superstar in DeAndre Ayton or Marvin Bagley to replace Towns. At number one, the most obvious choice and best option is Boston. Boston this offseason has talent for days but has to make moves this summer including training some of their young guys to put a breather on the cap space. We can sit here and say if it's not broke don't fix it and just leave this Boston team alone but you're going to be putting Smart, Morris, Rozier back on the bench playing less minutes with less money. These guys have agents and their agents are going to find the best place for them to get the most possible minutes and the best contract as well something they won't get if they stay in Boston. The best possible trade the Celtics could offer Minnesota is Boston receives Carl Anthony Towns and in return the Timberwolves receive Terry Rozier, Jalen Brown and one of their first overall picks. Rozier and Brown have been big for Boston but keeping Kyrie and Hayward with solidifying Tatum as a starter will just limit the talent Rozier and Brown has thus no real purpose of keeping them. This will also relieve some stress on the cap space and you will be able to pay your key players more money than they deserve while at the same time improving your young roster aging towns. The Timberwolves will receive a point guard who can create out of nothing in Rozier and a guy who has shown he could come up big when it counts in Jalen Brown. And having a first round pick for next year will allow the Timberwolves to draft what they think they are missing the most. If Towns does get traded, this is the best possible trade destination for Carl Anthony Towns. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and in the comments, let me know if you think Carl Anthony Towns will get traded. Follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys later.